Watching the best. Fox 10 News. A single mom gets the surprise of a lifetime. Emily Shy's vehicle needed about $6,500 of work, but money right now is very tight. In addition to having a three-year-old daughter who's looking forward to Christmas, Emily also goes to college. And tonight, fortunately, she doesn't have to worry about those repairs anymore. Steve Kraft's been looking into it. He joins us live at the story. Steve. John, this is one of those stories that just makes you feel good as the holidays approach. People working together to help someone who's doing her best to build a better life. Emily Shy is raising a three-year-old daughter so. by herself and studying accounting the last with no family around to help. Uh, it's been really tough, you know, just trying to, you know, go to school and, you know, and afford to, to provide for my kids. When her 2002 Chevy Blazer broke down, Emily was stranded. But then, neighborhood auto repair professionals, NARPRO, stepped in. So we had to put a new differential in it. We had, we've had to uh, um, manifold gaskets, had to have catalytic converters. It, was an exp it would have been a $7,500 repair. NAPA donated parts. Helping hands for single moms pitched in too. Back in 2007, we first started with NARPRO. Mm -hmm. They have provided over $230,000 in repairs. Uh, we partner with them on parts and they're the labor. And uh, it's just uh, uh, over uh, hundreds of moms have been helped thanks to NARPRO to stay in college and on the road and in school. A network of good deed doers across the valley. NARPRO has been uh, helping uh, and has been in in cahoots, if you will, with uh, Helping Hands for over 10 years now. And so our shop, Good Works Auto Repair, is also very much involved. And in, uh, in fact, we have a car right now that we're ready to donate to a single mom. Not only did a team of three mechanics yeah, fix Emily's car, she got some gifts for the Christmas season. Sure to be a hit with her three-year-old. It really gives me hope that, you know, there's so much... You know, this faith in humanity that people are, can be so, so kind and generous. Steve Kraft, Box 10 News.